Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw Captain Jones from Fortnite. So this is Jonesy dressed as Captain America. Let's go up there at the top, just up here. Start off with uh, Jonesy's hair. So I'm just going to put a little dot in there. This is going to be the top of his hair area. Now the head's going to be, I would say, around here. So I'm just going to do some like little like zigzags sort of to show his little chunky crop hair. And just come around the corner a little bit. Same on this side, kind of like comes out to a corner. So a few little zigzags like that, it kind of shows like the top of his head and the edge. Then I'm just gonna a bit of a line down there. Same on the other side, sort of a bit wobbly, sort of showing it his haircut there. Let's work out the outer part of his face. So as we come down here, I think he's got his ears going on next. So I'm gonna do two sort of curved ovals, one there and then a classic Jonesy ear there. Okay, so it's sort of looking out this way. What I'm gonna do now is just draw a line down here. This is sort of like the chiseled jaw uh, and neck. So it kind of just comes like down like a straight line like that. And from this side, what we can do, we can kind of come down this way as well. So just come down by the ear. You don't have to go all the way up. Just come down by the ear do a chisel jaw and bring it up like that. So it's sort of facing that way, so the jaw area is there. Let's pop a nose in, sort of to frame the face a little bit. Uh, so we've got Jonesy's nose. So I'm just gonna do like a little sort of curved line in the middle there. So let's just pop it in out there. From that, I'm gonna just do a little kind of cheeky Jonesy sort of mouth, sort of curving up a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little line, sort of coming up like that. And maybe there's a little sort of little line underneath, sort of. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now I've got that in. I'm gonna do a little bit of a bridge of a nose sort of here, right? Just a little dot above the nose, sort of where the, ear, the ears are there. Then let's pop his brows in. So he's got pretty cool brows as Jonesy. So I'm gonna do kind of like um, like an angle up and down. So an angle up and down like that. And the same on this side, an angle up and down. And then we're just gonna join those kind of join those up really like that like that now i've got those in let's just sort the hair out so this hair kind of comes under here a bit so i'm just going to do sort of zigzaggy wave bits again sort of to show like he's got kind of like a chunky crop of hair now i've got those in let's pop the eyes in i'm going to do two curves to show the top of the eye area so there's one curve like there and then on the other side, let's do another one. That's cool, like that. Now I've got those in, I'm gonna just pop in a couple of black dots, just to show Jonesy's eyes there, okay? Maybe just a little bit of a cheekbone going on for Jonesy. Yeah, he's got that real cool big chin of his. And maybe just, just a little bit of detail where the ears are either side of that there. Little bit of a neck area there, just bring it in, sort of Jonesy's chunky neck. And then I'm gonna put, it's like got a bandana on. So the bandana kind of goes from sort of let's say there, bring it out to maybe about, about here-ish, yeah? So we're just gonna just draw a line along like that. Just join up where we got that there, okay? So it's got his bandana area there. Just do a little line sort of straight down there. Then it kind of comes out again, so just bring it out, a little oval, and then it kind of sort of peters out to the chest area, so just a little, little wavy zigzag. From this side, just gonna pop a little curve in on the edge there, and then we're just gonna sort of join that up, really. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw a line like this, so it kind of comes to the edge there. It will show that this is kind of cloth by just putting a few little curves in, just like that, wherever you like, really. And then don't forget, if you're going too fast, just pause it, and then you can press play again, keep on going, okay? Right, next up, let's get his sort of chest area and his shoulders in. So what I think I'd like to do is sort of just do a little line here where he's got like a strap. He's kind of got one here as well. And then what we can do then is we can work out his shoulder pad area. So this side has kind of got a big sort of curve going on, probably about from here like an oval, let's bring it up for his shoulder pad and down like that. Bring it up and around and join it there. 
This side here, it's got another one as well, kind of coming on this side, sort of like facing this side with a shield here. So I'm gonna just do a little curve there. Okay, now I've got those in, what I'd like to do is just put a little point there and this is where he's kind of got his um, straps on around his shoulders for whatever he's carrying around his back. So I'm gonna, a little line to that point I've just made there. And then really simple, just gonna sort of go to the edge of that bandana, bring it down there, okay? And we're just gonna join that up there. Cool. This side, do the strap again. Just gonna kind of come down to, say about there, yeah? So I'm gonna do, first of all, Bring it down, but just bring it in like that. It's kind of got like the edge of his strap there. And then what we can do there is bring it down and around to there. Do it on the other side here. Just bring that down, join up at the edge there. Okay. Now I've got those two bits in. I'm gonna do the sort of chest area, torso. Got this here, so this is like the pec area. Bring that down there like that. And then we'll just curve that in and down. It's about there. On this side, I'm gonna to go to about the same point, but about, let's say about here. Yeah, and we're just gonna do a curve up to that point. So it's gonna curve up, and that's his torso area there. Right, next up, I've got his arm area. So this arm then just comes around here to there. And then this is where his shield area is. I think I'll just finish off like, the legs on this side before I fill that in. This point here where his belt is, I'm gonna put a rectangle in here. Then the midsection of his belt, two little lines like that, one there, just join those up. It's like the clip of his belt. He's kind of got a few little things on his belt around here. So I'm just gonna bring that out, two lines there where his belt is and just put another little rectangle coming out there. Got all sort of supplies and things on his belt. Now on this side, he's got like a pack on, it, on his belt here. So I'm gonna just draw a line like that. Then we're gonna bring that down like this. And then we're just doing a little curve to about this point. This comes out. Then we're gonna go across like a line there. Then we're gonna draw a line there. So we've matched it up. To kind of give us a 3D idea, we're gonna do another line here. Suddenly this little pack there kind of looks a bit 3D-ish. Fill in a little bit more on the line at the bottom just to show that's 3D as well. A couple of little circles for detail. And then I think we just need to draw a line across here where the belt is, like that. Now I've got that belt in. Let's look at the trouser area. So the middle part of his trouser area, let's pop that in about here, just a little diagonal line. Now I've worked that out, we've got a leg coming out here. So let's do the inside leg here, kind of tapers down to about here where the knee is. So I'm just gonna bring that down to about here. Okay, now I've got that. I can work out this inner part here. So from about there, just gonna come down like that. Now I've got those inner parts done, let's get the outer done. So this part of the outer here is probably the easiest bit. We've got the line where the torso is there, so the outer leg's gonna kind of continue down sort of that area there. So we're just gonna bring that out and down like that to the knee area. This side is a little bit more tricky because it's got a few little bits like packs going on, with, on um, this right hand leg right hand side of the leg. So right here, I'm gonna put a square there. Then it's got like a little band. So we're just gonna draw two curves coming out of that rectangle square. So there, join that up. And then he's got like a rectangular pack here. So we're just gonna bring that down up and just come up from the top here, join it up. So just a bit of detail there. Now I've got those bits in. I'm gonna pop his knee pads in. So he's got sort of um, rounded, rectangular, rounded rectangular knee pads. So let's pop in one here, okay? We have two kind of lines coming out here and then just come around, sort of rounded there. 
Then what I'm going to do is just go around that really chunky one, kind of piping around like that. And then join that up, so kind of loose clothing so it can just go around like that. This side kind of comes this way, but we've got the same sort of thing. So I'm just going to do a curve around there, bring it in here. It kind of, uh, kind of pops out a bit here, so I'm just going to draw it out here. Let's do that piping around there again. And all we've got to do is kind of like show it's kind of 3D there. Let's pop a couple of little, feel like little indents here. One, two, maybe this indent here where it kind of comes out. Same here, one, two for the detail there. This leg I'm just going to draw out a little bit here where it'll go down. And then we'd pop a strap in behind that, like that. Now we've got that in. Let's continue this leg. So the lower sort of shin area, I'm just gonna come out to about here. This side sort of come out from, from this point, so the leg will continue here. Just bring it out there. Now I can pop his boot in. So he's got like a, quite a squared off top of the boot there. And these boots kind of come down like that. And then all we need to do is just do a curve up there and then join it back up like that. On this side, let's do the same sort of thing. So it's gonna pop the curve of the calf in there. And then the top of the boot is kind of like here, so like a little square. Join that up. And then we can just join up the back there, bring it down like this. Put a curve in. Curve that up there. Now we're just gonna put the feet in. That's basically a line out this way and down where the toe cap is. And then we're just gonna match that up at the bottom there. So just we'll fix it up there. Maybe we'll just put a little indent there to show the sole of the shoe. And then we can just pop a little toe cap there. It's kind of like little indents going on here. Two, a few little bits around here. Pop a line in there. This side, the foot kind of comes out Sort of this way, so the toe's kind of here, comes up, round circle, just join it up, down there and around there. Cool. That's a little toe cup area. Uh, and then we've got another two little curves there. Just join that there. And then we just put, put a little bit of detail in. So a couple of little rectangles for detail. Kind of like where it's like kind of strapped up. couple of straps on the leg area. So curve that around, one, two. And then one, two straps again. A Little bit of like piping detail there. So just a line to here, down. Uh, and then in here, I think there's like a little bit of detail going on in the trousers there as well. Right, now I've got that in. Let's just get this arm in. Kind of comes back here and out. So about this point of the torso, I'm just gonna draw a line. And it's kind of got his uh, sleeves rolled up, so it kind of just comes out like that. Down, it's almost like a rectangle. It comes in like this. And then the forearm area. Line along here. Line along here. I'm gonna pop the top of the hand up here, so it's gonna kind of come down, out, and around and curve it up and then this thumb area is kind of in here so put the thumb area there a couple of little lines as well one two one two and then it's, it's kind of like a fingerless glove so i'm just going to put a couple of little curves in there and join that up right nice now i've got that in let's just move the pens a little bit i'm going to pop the shield in so top of the shield is about here. The lower end of the shield, I think is about sort of, sort of here-ish. So I'll pop another little dot there. And then what we can do is draw a curve from the top to the bottom. So a little curve there, there first of all. And then just use that as your guide. So come around, down, it's like an oval like there. And then we're just gonna bring it back up as well. So. Nice curve up to the top there. 
and just join that up where we've got the shield area there. A couple of little bits of detail in here. And then he's got the star on his chest, so I'm gonna pop two points either side there. Bring it down, come out, back in, come out, back in. Top area of stars there, and then it just goes up sort of underneath the bandana there. Then we'll put another circle around that. Have a nice circle there. And then there's a bit of detail up here. One, two, and it kind of comes around three lines like that. It kind of comes around here too. Okay, next up, just a bit of a peck going on there. So a curve. And here, he's kind of got armor on, so I'm gonna draw a line. Two lines down there, two more, two narrow lines, come back out again, and just bring it down to the belt area there. A couple of other little bits of detail, we'll just put a couple of little lines in, show that off. And then from here, it's kind of got a diagonal line going either side there, and then bring that down either side there. A little bit of detail here too, so it kind of just comes up and then down like that. Nice, okay. This side's feeling a bit left out, I think, so just a couple of little bits of piping in there. Now where we've got the shield, I'm gonna pop uh, an interior ring in first, so just gonna curve around here, like that. Then we've got another one, so, there we go. Uh, so then there's another one, another interior ring there. And now we can pop the star in. So we're gonna pop a point here and we're gonna bring it down like that. Then we're gonna come out to the middle part, either side there, bring it in either side. And one, two for the star there. It's like a 3D effect on it as well. So. I'm gonna pop some little lines on that to kind of show it off too. Maybe just on the edge here. There's a bit of kind of curve curvature going on. Just gonna go around that again. Just make it look a little bit smoother. Okay, I'll just outline the character a little bit as well. I was kind of just missed it ever so slightly. Just around here too. Cool. Okay, let's just put a little bit of ground in behind him. Okay, right, let's now get on to the colouring in. So what I'm gonna do, is just get a yellow, just pop a little bit of hair colour in for Jamesy, his blonde hair, just pop that in there, just along the top. Let's get those brows done too. Nice, okay. Let's get ourselves a skin colour for Jamesy, and let's just colour that in there. Let's go make sure we're kind of around the eye area. Leave a little bit of light for the nose area there. And then he's got really a little bit, I think it's like a little bit of skin there. And then on the hands and thumb. Now we've done that, let's get the blue in. So he's mainly a blue character, so I'll get this light blue first of all. Just start colouring in sort of the blue areas of our character.
maybe leave a little bit of white on this edge there just to show it kind of the light popping off him. Maybe this bit's that color as well. Let's go down to the trouser area. Just use this as a base color, build him up. And then I think, let's just get that darker blue now. Start just putting that sort of more traditional, sort of darker blue that we associate the character with on here. In the star area there, just leave a little bit of area for the kind of white piping. I'm just going to get myself a brown colour. I'm just going to fill in these kind of glove areas. Pop in these bits here. Let's use brown as a base first of all. Maybe we just need to just use that as a bit of a base. If you like what you're seeing, please do like and subscribe. It means a lot to us on Art Draw. I appreciate that. Right, now I've got those bits in. Let's get ourselves a dark grey. Start just filling in a few of this all gray areas, kind of just give it a bit of texture. Maybe in the star areas as well, just a bit of texture there. In there. And this lower part here, I think that be quite good in dark color, still leaving a little bit. And I think these boots are quite a bit darker, so what I might do then is just go over the top in this gray, so it just makes it sort of a deeper color for our picture. Just a little bit more going on there. A bit on the edge here. Nice, okay. Let's go get ourselves a red. Let's fill in some of those red areas that we've got. So there's a red area going up here. There's a red area here. These kind of knee pads, just a little bit, just on the edges. Just to kind of give them a bit of a pop. 
And then the, uh, the shield is red on the outer. So let's pop a red in here. Maybe we'll just leave a bit in the middle there. So we'll show the light shining off it. Then there's a the inner pipe here. It's kind of like a red. And then I think let's get ourselves that lighter grey. We can just make sort of the shield bounce a little bit with my draw in around here, so it picks up a bit of that colour as well. So there we go, that's nice. It sort of brings it to life a little bit. It kind of picks up a bit of the red as we move it around as well. Let me just bring it to there. Yeah, that's looking good now. Got those bits in, just a couple of other little bits I think. We need to pop, I think that little bit there should be that darker blue. Yeah, that's right. And then in here as well, we've got a nice bit of dark blue to add where the star is. Make it look more like the shield of Captain America. Right, okay. Let's just get that kind of flashy sort of colour and just sort of pop that underneath so it's like a, a bit like a rocky terrain for him. Yeah, that's cool. Just a little bit of a flavour of that. And there we go, that's it. So that is, let's get the nice red, I think. That is. Captain Jones. On our draw. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.